Hi everyone, welcome to Global Online. Today we are discussing NTI UGC NET 2023 Paper 1. Here we deal with education initiatives in post-independence India, that topic from higher education. And this topic includes all the important initiatives taken by the personalities and also the important programs for education in the post-independent India. So let's start the session. Before we move into the session, students, for your UGC NET 2023 Paper 1 preparation, Global Online offering for you the evaluation test that include all the topics in the UGC NET and you can get it at free of cost. And this will really help your concept clarification and also give you additional information. So it will really help for your preparation and you can download our app from the link given in the description. Here you can see the major reports and that published after the independence and the important one national policy on education 1968 and 1986 and recently national policy on education came in 2020 NPE 2020 and the next one Acharya Ramamurthy committee 1990 and it is the evaluation committee for the national policy on education 1986 okay then central advisory board of education committee on distance education that also called as CAB and that came in 1992 then ESPAL committee 1993 that's learning by doing policy then national curriculum framework 2005 that's one of the important framework for the curriculum for education after independence and the right to education act 2009 and it provides free and compulsory education for all children up to the age of 6 to 14 clear then first question which of the following commission suggested silent meditation as a part of moral values here the question deals with the particular commission who that recommended the meditation that silent meditation as a part or as a uh, part or the value of moral so the moral value that include silent meditation also and that particular message given by the university education commission and the university education commission that came to study the problems of university education in india and to suggest improvement and extension and that to suit present and the future requirements of the country and here the university education commission came in 1948 and it's one of the important commission after the independence and the problems of university education is clearly found out by this commission and also the radhakrishna commission is the another name for the university education commission clear the next question according to the radhakrishna commission the aim of higher education is so in first question we see the university education commission that's the radhakrishna commission and here the particular aim or the wholesome aim of the uh, radhakrishna commission uh, according to the radhakrishna commission for higher education and the option given develop the democratic values peace harmony and then develop great personality who can give their contribution in politics administration industry and commerce and both a and b and none of this here the radhakrishna commission is a wholesome of the uh, wholesome higher education commission and also it given major recommendation for the problems regarding the regarding to the higher education so both a and b is the correct answer for this question uh, it develops democratic values like the peace and harmony and also to develop great personalities 
uh, that those who contribute to the politics administration industry and commerce clear then third one as per the NCTA norms what should be the staff strength for a unit of 100 students at B8 level in question you can see NCTA norm and NCT full form national council for teacher education it's a statutory body of Indian government that's set up under the National Council for Teacher Education Act that's in 1993 and in 1995 is to formally oversee the standard procedure and also the norms and process in the Indian education system. So these norms that provided or that recommended for the staff strength for a unit of 100 students that's for B8 level 1 plus 10 is the no clear so the 1 plus 10 is the important no for b at level uh, that uh, a unit of 100 students clear then before we move into the next question students for UGC net 2023 paper to preparation Global Online offering for you the most important study material. It will really help your preparation in a positive way and also give you the various dimension for your examination and it includes the major subjects you can see in the screen and you can really uh, help this, uh, sorry, you can really get the study material uh, for not only for UGC net exam but also for the related interviews and exams also. And you can contact with the given WhatsApp number for the availability of the study material. And you can get it only for 1280 after a discount of 20%. So make use of this great opportunity. We move to our next question. Fourth one, the Kothari Commission's report was entitled on. The next important commission or the report uh, after independence that is Kothari Commission and it is a uh, published its report in 1966 clear so the commission report was entitled on or as the name suggested for this report is education and national development and for this name is uh, that means what is the kothari commission it meant for the national development so the to promote social justice is the one of the other important aim and the Kothari Commission has focused on girls education. So here you can see Kothari Commission. One point is that's uh, social justice and second one woman education, girls education and education of backward class education of backward class that's other important one point backward classes and then tribal people tribal people and then physically challenged and also mentally handicapped children clear so in Kothari Commission report that was entitled as Education and National Development and in this Kothari Commission the report suggested or focused on social justice, women education and education of backward classes, tribal people, physically and mentally handicapped children. Clear. The next one, which of the following was not consisted in the recommendation of National Policy on Education, 1986. Okay, so here the NP 1986 recommended various things, but the thing or the uh, major recommendation that's not consisted in this NP, that's a training of guardians. Training of guardians or parents. It does not include in this recommendation of NPE, but it includes redesigning of courses and expansion of institution, training of teachers. So, in this question, you can get this 
three important points regarding to the NPE 9086. One is the redesigning of courses and the expansion or the development of the institutions and training of teachers. Clear? Or the skill development of teachers. Then next one, National Policy of Education 9086 recommended for and here gives the options and in this option what is the particular recommendation uh, given by NPE 9086 and that is a reorganization of education one of the important aim or the recommendation of 9086 NPE and the uh, this uh, National Education Policy 1986 led by Rajiv Gandhi and introduced a new national policy on education. And this new policy also called uh, call for special emphasis on the removal of disparity and the equalized educational opportunity, especially for Indian women, scheduled tribe, scheduled caste community. So those people or those categories are uh, despair or they become uh, they does not get the education uh, equally like the other. So, in this uh, particular recommendation or the a particular report given that, uh, that special emphasis on the all categories or the all removed categories of the society. Clear? So, that's why it's called the reorganization of education. Next one. Sri Prakash committee was set up in which year? Clear. So one of the important committee uh, after independence and it was set up in the year 59, 1959 to 1960. And the major aim or the major area in which the Sri Prakash committee concentrated on the Committee that's for religious and moral instruction and that's appointed uh, under the chairmanship of Sri Prakash and then held two meetings and that one is on the uh, 1959 November and December at Rajbhavan, Bombay. So in these years, uh, Sri Prakash committee recommended or they uh, they give uh, given instruction that to give a, uh, give the education as both religious and also moral clear then next one which of the following is not recommended by sri pragash committee so in this question you can see which of the following or the, uh, which of the things that is not recommended by Pragash committee. So not here. And here this given option none of the above. Clear. None of the above is a answer. Because it's not clear which of not recommended by Sri Pragash committee. And this one is uh, answer for this question is none of the above. This no, uh, all are not given by recommended by Sri Pragash committee. Clear. Here the not is wrong. Which of the following is recommended by Sri Pragash committee? Uh, so uh, you can see here the teaching morals that also come but not only the teaching morals. It includes moral and religious things. And silent meditation, it recommended by the University Education Commission, Radha Krishna Commission, and the co-curricular activities. It's uh, somewhere came in all the commissions. So here the option none of the above, and uh, instead it uh, recommended for the moral and also the religious instruction. Clear? Then students for your UGC in a 2023 Paper One preparation. Global online offering for you. Another important course, the one and only the crash course. It will include all the features, live lectures, video lectures, and mock tests. That 60 plus mock tests and last 10 years PYQs.
complete notes and 4000 plus MCQs from question bank. So all these features you can get under this particular crash course and you can get it by contact with our given WhatsApp number and you can get it only for 3200 after 20% off. So that's a great one and also give you the satisfied and flexible materials for your preparation. Clear? And moving to the next one. The period of Indian Education Commission was clear. So here the Indian Education Commission, the another name or this also called as Kothari Commission and the Kothari Commission that the year or the period of Kothari Commission is from 64 to 66. From 64 the commission established and then in 1966 the report published okay the report released and also we see uh, Kothari commission stressed on various things of uh, uh, woman education and also the education of backward etc clear so one of the important one and uh, and that's why it's called indian education commission clear the next one the Indian Education Commission recommended for the question says that the Kothari Commission recommended for which are the following and you can see various options timetable suitable teachers methods of moral teaching all of the above so Indian Education Commission are the wholesome of the education so it include all the things timetable suitable teachers etc so all of the above is a right answer and for furthermore of this commission came that uh, this, uh, this is, it was formed on 14 July 1964 under the chairmanship of Dolat Singh Kothadi, the chairman of the UGC at that time. And this said by the Indian government to examine the education sector and also the present necessary changes. The dynamicity of the education also stressed in this commission. Clear? The next one, the Ishwar Bhai Patel Committee was set up in which year? Okay, and that's in 1977. So, Ishwar Bhai Patel Committee that's set up in the year 1977 and its recommendation uh, of this committee for specially for socially useful productive work. S-U-P-W. Clear. The subject was the first introduced in the to the school curriculum. This SUPW or the socially useful productive work first introduced in school curriculum in that's in 1978 and the, uh, that's uh, by the Ministry of Education and later it moves to the college level. Clear. And then Next one, the Ishwar by Patel committee recommended for. Here you can see the to integrate work experience, value oriented education, woman legislation. So uh, the particular one or to integrate the work experience Ishwar by Patel committee uh, came or the uh, they recommended about the integration of work experience and that's why the socially useful productive work. Okay, this work will indicate the whole of the uh, recommendation of the committee. Okay. The next one, which of the following is not an aim of higher education according to Kothari Commission. And this given about the Kothari Commission but not the aim of the Kothari Commission about higher education. Clear. So, they here given the option to explore new knowledge in context of truth and interpret it in items of ancient knowledge and beliefs in contemporary needs. So, for the uh, exploration of new one but the context uh, or the situation is the uh, same as in the ancient knowledge and beliefs. Okay, so the contemporary needs, the present needs of the 
knowledge that to explore the new knowledge is the one of the aim and then to explore innate abilities in person and develop them through training like the teaching procedure by make them uh, understand their abilities innate abilities and then to develop their abilities through training that's the second one and this is not the recommendation given by kothari commission clear and here we can see the social justice and equality that one of the aim and right leadership in all the fields of life that also the right one clear so the answer for this question is to explore innate abilities in persons and develop them through training clear then the last one which of the following is not related to indian education commission recommendation so indian education commission means the radha krishna commission year 1964 to 66 important year and which of the following or which of the option is not related to this commission and the particular one is the role of registrar clear the role of registrar it came the university autonomy and also the role and appointment of vice chancellor that's in university and university legislation but the role of registrar is not came under the recommendation of indian education commission or the radha krishna commission clear sorry uh, kothari commission then or the radha krishna commission kothari commission the homework question who was the chairman of the ugc committee 1969 appointed for administrative legislative of the universities and the option given dr p b gajendra gadkar dr lakshman swami modeliya dr sarvepalli radhakrishnan then dr zakir hussain so the question about the ugc chairman at the a uh, time or the uh, appointment of 1969 that's for the legislation of the university who recommended or who given the legislative of the university uh, for that uh, he appointed for the uh, chairman sorry that's who uh, he appointed as the chairman of ugc and the year 1969 clear so you can give the answer in the comment box and any other queries you can also give in comment box okay and in the next is homework question the system of government grants to universities was first started by and that is none other than lord curzon so lord curzon given the systematic or the system of government grants for the universities clear and today the government grants to universities was controlled and given by ugc and that's for the day we end the session with this question we will meet with another important topic until then thank you have a nice day